finally this morning. You know, here on Reliable Sources, we examine CNN as well as the rest of the media world. And today, it's worth examining 41 on 41, a film about George H.W. Bush that's premiering at 9 p.m. tonight. It's a Father's Day special. The film was funded by Bush's presidential library. So you might ask yourself if it's appropriate for CNN to be broadcasting it. David Zerowick of the Baltimore Sun asked that question in a column earlier this week, and he concluded that it's not okay. He called it hagiography, not a true documentary. Of course, others disagree. Rick Kaplan, a former CNN president, executive produced the film, and he told me by phone that the Bush Library had no editorial control over the film. He wants it judged on its quality, not on its financing. Honestly, this is a hard one. I see both sides here. On the one side, the financial connection to the Bush Library does affect the film. How could it not? But on the other side, this is one small example of a big shift in media. Sources have more power than ever to choose who they speak with. They can make their own media. And there's another thing here. CNN is acquiring a lot of programs it doesn't produce, some with strong points of view. It's all part of a business strategy to feature more than just straight newscasts, and I believe that makes a lot of sense. So those are the two sides I see here. As a viewer, I think you should also see both sides, and here's what I mean. CNN's press releases about the film have been upfront about the library's involvement, and I think the channel should be upfront on air as well. A CNN spokesperson told me on Friday that there will be a mention of the library's involvement at the beginning of it. Because here's how it boils down. You know, do I want to watch a film about George H.W. Bush financed by his library? I do. I think it sounds really interesting. But do I also want to know the library financed it as I'm watching it? Definitely. Do I also want to see other points of view about his presidency on TV and online? Again, definitely. The viewer in me is very interested. The journalist in me thinks transparency is very important here. I like CNN's push into documentary. I think a lot of people do. But it's important to know who's doing the documenting and why they're doing it. Now that's all for this televised edition of Reliable Sources. But our media coverage keeps going all the time on the Reliable Sources blog on CNN.com. So check that out and then grab your remote, set your DVR, because we'll be right back here next week, next Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Stay tuned for a news update and then State of the Union with Candy Crowley.